it, would it have averted this tragedy? It may have had an impact, but it may not have. While we don't know at this point whether body armor and its web of bullet stopping fibers could have saved the life of Officer David Crawford. And I'm not, certainly not saying that, that David uh, did anything wrong. His death has St. Petersburg Police taken another look at its policy that makes wearing body armor optional. I will certainly say that we'll, it's worth looking at again. Like most agencies in the Bay Area, St. Pete Police tell us they provide their officers with the armor, but do not require they wear it while on the job. Given the climate, uh, you know, of uh, the humidity and the heat that we have here, uh, you know, you, it's sometimes hard to, to mandate something like that. When we fit these, we have. While Thomas Sabo with Dana Supply in Tampa, one of the nation's largest suppliers of police body armor, agrees the vest can be uncomfortable. It's a choice that can save a life. It's, uh, it's simply a, 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 a mental checklist that the officer has to go through to prepare themselves to wear this. A Bureau of Justice survey shows 59% of law enforcement agencies nationwide mandate body armor. But to Sabo, it's not enough, not because it's business, but because of vests save lives, and he's seen it firsthand. And uh, it's, it's a feeling that you can't really describe. In Tampa, Laura Kadechka, 10 News.